Okay, so now what we're done, now what we're given is a slope and a point. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try finding the, uh, this equation of line. So to find the equation of the line here, um, I'm gonna use uh, point slope form. And what point slope form is gonna tell us is you're gonna take your a point and you're also gonna take a, um, and your slope to find your equation. So let's see here. There's a lot of different formations of point slope form, but I'm just gonna write this one. Y1 minus Y equals M times X2 minus X. Okay, and, or, let's just do it this way. It really is, doesn't really matter which one you're going to be picking, but um, you'll just see. So what I'll have is, I'll just represent this as my x1 and this is my y1, all right? And the only reason why I'm just writing them in there so you'll know which x and y to plug them into, it absolutely does not matter which x or y you plug them into. It does not matter, all right? But, so now, if I know m is 5 sevenths, and I'm going to label these as x1, y1, I'll have y, e, y minus y1, which is 5, equals m, which is 5 sevenths, times x minus x1, which was a negative 2. Well, that's going to become a double negative. I can add my 5 on both sides. Therefore, I get y equals a 5 sevenths. And the reason why I wanted to plug it in for this y is because it's much easier to add a 5 over than if you see adding over here, then you would have a negative y. And it just gets a little more confusing. Times x plus 2 plus 5. Then what I can do is now I can use distributive property, and I get y equals a 5 sevenths x plus 10 sevenths plus 5. Well, I need to put five, to add these two together, I need to put five as a um, same fraction. So I'll just kind of do a little sidebar here. 10 over seven plus five over one. I need to multiply by seven over seven. So therefore I get um, 10 sevenths plus 35 over seven, which is 45 over seven. So therefore my final answer is y equals five sevenths x plus 45 over 7. There you go.